Hi, it's Kristen May. Welcome to another Fun in the Field Friday. Today we are at the Salt Marsh and we are going to be talking about one of the salt marsh's most common inhabitants, fiddler crabs. Fiddler crabs are small crabs that when full grown only are a few inches and they're very commonly found throughout salt marshes. Fiddler crabs got their name because the male fiddler crab has one large claw and people thought that that large claw looked like he was playing a violin, also known as a fiddle. Females do not have this large claw. They just have two small claws. So it's very easy to tell the difference between a male and a female fiddler crab. Male fiddler crabs use their large claw to try to attract a female fiddler crab. They will stand at their burrow and wave that big claw back and forth to try to impress the female fiddler crabs. Male and female fiddler crabs use their small claws as feeding claws. So since a female has two feeding claws and a male only has one, females can actually eat twice as fast as male fiddler crabs. Did you know that fiddler crabs can actually regrow their limbs? If a male fiddler crab happens to lose his big claw during a fight, his small feeding claw will grow and become his big fiddle and their new regrown limb will stay small and become their new feeding claw. Fiddler crabs are detritivores. You probably know that a carnivore is an animal that eats meat an herbivore is an animal that eats plants, but what is a detritivore? A detritivore is an animal that eats decaying matter. Fiddler crab's diet consists of bacteria, algae, and decaying marsh plants, also known as detritus. Since fiddler crabs are eating bacteria, algae, and detritus, they're kind of like the janitors of a salt marsh. When you are exploring a salt marsh, you can usually see evidence of fiddler crabs everywhere. Take a look down near my feet and in front of me. Look at all these tiny holes. These are burrows dug by fiddler crabs. Believe it or not, burrows dug by fiddler crabs can be over two feet deep. Do you see the little pellets and piles near the burrows? These pellets are from when the fiddler crabs are digging their burrows and they're pushing the pluff mud up through their tunnels to create that burrow that they need. Burrows are incredibly important for fiddler crab survival. Each individual fiddler crab digs and defends its own burrow. During high tide, fiddler crabs actually retreat into their burrows. As the water comes up and covers their burrows, they take some of that puff mud and they plug the entrance of their burrow. And then even as the water comes up over the top of their burrows, a small pocket of air will be trapped right at the entrance. This is important because even though fiddler crabs do have gills like fish do for breathing underwater, fiddler crabs also have a primitive lung and they need to get oxygen out of the air. During high tide, fiddler crabs are protected in their burrows from predators like fish, diamondback terrapins, blue crabs, and other aquatic things that want to eat them. During low tide, burrows also help protect fiddler crabs from other types of predators. Fiddler crabs are usually the most active during low tide when they come out of their burrows and are searching for food. If a fiddler crab wanders a little too far away from its own burrow and then feels threatened by a predator, it will often hide in someone else's burrow. Fiddler crab burrows are not just important for fiddler crab survival, they're also important for the entire salt marsh ecosystem. If you have ever experienced a salt marsh, you have probably experienced pluff mud. Pluff mud is really, really dense and sticky. It's hard for air to get into the pluff mud, but when the fiddler crabs are digging their burrows, they're actually putting air into or aerating the pluff mud. This is important because the cord grass of the salt marsh needs oxygen in the pluff mud in order to be able to grow and survive. And without cord grass, we wouldn't have a salt marsh ecosystem. Now that we've learned a little bit more about fiddler crabs, I'm starting to wonder exactly how many fiddler crabs live in a salt marsh ecosystem. So in today's video, we're gonna estimate how many fiddler crabs are in all of Cape Romaine National Wildlife Refuge. 
Cape Romain National Wildlife Refuge has almost 30,000 acres of salt marsh. And I want to figure out how many fiddler crabs are in every single one of those acres. That means we need to walk and we need to count every single fiddler crab in about 23,000 football fields. So we better get started. All right, I am absolutely not going to walk through 30,000 acres of salt marsh and try to count every single fiddler crab. So what's a better way for us to estimate how many fiddler crabs are in all of the salt marsh of Cape Romaine? How about we count the fiddler crabs in a smaller area and then multiply that smaller area to be the entire area of salt marsh in Cape Romaine. To do this, we need something called a quadrat. This is a quadrat. Scientists use quadrats a lot to help them estimate the populations of different plants or animals in an ecosystem with a large area. We can use our quadrat to help us estimate the amount of fiddler crabs in Cape Romaine by counting the fiddler crabs in this small area and then applying that number to the entire area of salt marshes in all of Cape Romaine National Wildlife Refuge. But I am not just going to lie our quadrat down once and estimate from that one data point. When scientists are doing experiments and collecting data, they usually do an experiment more than once to get more data points. So I'm going to collect data five different times by lying down my quadrant in five different areas and counting the amount of fiddler crabs in each of those different locations to get five data points. Let's get started. Now remember, when fiddler crabs feel threatened, they hide in their burrows. So when I get closer, I'm a lot bigger than a fiddler crab. They think I'm a predator and they are going to hide inside their burrows. So when we're counting and collecting data inside our quadrat, we're going to count the number of burrows that we find inside of our quadrat and each burrow is going to represent a fiddler crab because remember, each individual fiddler crab digs and lives inside its own burrow. So therefore, one burrow equals one fiddler crab. Now remember, when a fiddler crab is full grown, it's only a few inches. So when they first hatch out of their eggs, they're teeny, teeny, tiny. When I'm collecting the data of the number of burrows in my quadrat, I need to make sure I not only count the bigger holes, but I also count the teeny tiny ones. I want to make sure that I count every single burrow inside my quadrat. Let's start counting. In my first quadrat, I counted that there are approximately 102 fiddler crab burrows. Remember, we can't just rely on one data point, so let's collect our next set of data. I counted 97. I only counted 23. What about 68? 173 burrows. We have all of our data and remember we are going to assume that every single burrow equals one fiddler crab. The first thing we need to do to convert this data into our estimation of how many fiddler crabs are in all of Cape Romaine National Wildlife Refuge salt marshes is to take the average of this data. When we're taking the average of a data set, we need to add all of our numbers together and then divide the number of data sets that we collected. So we're going to add up all of these numbers and then divide it by five. So first, let's add up all of the amount of burrows that we have. Check my math as I go along. Two plus seven is nine, plus three is 12, plus eight is 20, plus three is 23. Two plus zero is two, plus nine is 11, plus two is 13, plus six is 19, plus seven, is 26 and 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So we counted a total of 463 burrows. Now that we have the total, how do we get the average? Remember, we need to divide our sum of data by the amount of data points that we collected. So we need to divide 463 by 5. When I'm doing this, remember to check my math as we go along. Five doesn't go into four. 
five goes into 46 nine times. Nine times five is 45. 46 minus 45 is one. Bring down that three. Five goes into 13 two times. Two times five is 10. 13 minus 10 is three. Add a decimal and a zero. Bring down that zero. How many times does five go into 30? Five goes into 30 six times. Six times five is 30. So we're all done now that we have a zero down at the bottom. So we got that our average number of fiddler crabs in our data set was 92.6. So I'm gonna write average of 92.6 burrows, or remember one burrow equals one fiddler crab. So we have an average fiddler crab of 92.6 per quadrat. Now we need to take our average number of fiddler crabs per quadrat and take that to figure out how many fiddler crabs we estimate are in all of Cape Romaine National Wildlife Refuge. How are we going to do that? Well, we know that Cape Romaine has about 30,000 acres of salt marsh, so we need to figure out how many quadrats it would take to fill up 30,000 acres. My quadrat was one yard by one yard, so it had an area of one yard squared. So we estimate there are 92.6 fiddler crabs per yard squared. We now need to figure out how many fiddler crabs are in an acre. To do that, we need to know how many square yards there are in an acre. I know that there are 4,840 yards squared in one acre. So I know how many fiddler crabs we estimate are per yard squared. I know how many yard squares there are in an acre. So how am I going to figure out how many fiddler crabs are in an acre. I need to multiply our average 92.6 by 4,840. To make this a little bit easier for us, I'm going to round up our average number of fiddler crabs. So let's say that we have an average of 93 fiddler crabs per yard squared. Now we need to multiply 4,840 times 93. Check my math as I go. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 8 is 24. Plus 1 is 25. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 2 is 14. We need to add a 0 because we're moving to the tens place. 9 times 0 is 0. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 3 is 75, and 9 times 4 is 36, plus 7 is 43. Alright, and now I need to add these together. 0 plus 0 is 0, 2 plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 6 is 11, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 5 is 10, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus three is five, and then we've got a four. So per acre, we estimate that there are 450,120 fiddler crabs per acre. Now we have an estimate of how many fiddler crabs are per acre. Now we can estimate how many fiddler crabs are in Cape Romaine salt marshes. Remember, there's 30,000 acres of salt marsh in Cape Romaine. So we need to multiply this number by 30,000. We need to multiply 450,000. 120 times 30,000. This looks scary, but it's actually pretty easy to do. We know that zero times anything is zero, so we just need to add four zeros onto the end and then multiply 450,120 by three. Three times zero is zero. Three times two is six. Three times one is three. Three times zero is zero. 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 4 is 12, 
plus one is 13. Oh my goodness, let's add our commas. Look how many fiddler crabs we estimate are in all of Cape Romaine. 13 billion, 503 million, 600 thousand fiddler crabs in Cape Romaine. I'm gonna add an exclamation point because that is a whole lot of fiddler crabs. I bet you're curious, how close were we to the actual number? Well, scientists estimate that there are up to 1 million fiddler crabs per acre. We only estimated 450,000 fiddler crabs per acre. We only estimated about half of the fiddler crab population that other biologists estimate are actually in salt marshes. So what are some of the things that we could have done wrong? Well, we only collected about five data points. Scientists usually collect a lot more data than that. I may have missed a few of the burrows while I was counting inside of my quadrat. And we were in a pretty small area. We didn't explore different areas of Cape Romaine. We stuck to the salt marshes in one small area. So that's some of the scientific error that we might have had during our fiddler crab population experiment. So what's it mean that there are so many fiddler crabs in a salt marsh ecosystem? It means that fiddler crabs are super, super important. What were some of the reasons that we've already talked about how fiddler crabs are important? Well, they're an important part of the food chain because a lot of different animals that live in the salt marsh rely on them for food. We also talked about how fiddler crabs are detritivores and act like janitors to help clean up the salt marsh. Also, we talked about how important the fiddler crabs digging burrows and aerating or putting air into the pluck mud is important for the cord grass to be able to grow in the salt marsh. Since there are so many fiddler crabs in a salt marsh, they can also be used as an indicator or a sign for how healthy the salt marsh ecosystem is. Think about it. If you are studying a salt marsh and you notice that the fiddler crab population was decreasing, what might that be a sign of? If the fiddler crab population was decreasing, do you think the salt marsh that the fiddler crabs were living in would be healthy or unhealthy? If the fiddler crab population was decreasing, that would be a sign that there would be something wrong with that salt marsh ecosystem, whether it be pollution or something else causing the population decline of the fiddler crabs. And if the population of the fiddler crabs start declining, other things that live in the salt marsh are going to be affected as well. The number of fiddler crabs in a salt marsh affects the entire salt marsh ecosystem. When we study a species to help us figure out the health of an ecosystem, we refer to that species as a bioindicator. Fiddler crabs are used as bioindicators for the health of a salt marsh. Scientists have also considered using the population of fiddler crabs as a bioindicator of climate change. Over the past 50 years, the range of fiddler crab populations have been moving northward. The theory is that ocean temperatures are rising and that is causing fiddler crabs to move further northward. Even though they are teeny tiny, we can learn a lot from fiddler crabs and we should be extremely grateful for the billions and billions of fiddler crabs that we have for keeping our salt marsh ecosystem healthy. I hope you learned a whole lot and maybe even had a little bit of fun. I'll see you next time. Stay wild.